of the diaspora. You know, here in Ghana, we have the Caribbean Association. For those that came from the Caribbean, we have the African um, Diaspora Association. We have the African American Association, different associations. And we all come together. Uh, Brother Lumani always say, invite the community. This brother was the former president of the African American Association. A great man, I have a great love and respect for him. Um, I was a member when he was president of the association, and he's going to talk to us about a project that he has here. I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Jerome Thompson. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And a while. Um, I had a bit of a loss today for one thing. I had a, a little sort of illness when I was taking medicine. I was going to be drowsy. But I'm going to do my best. My partner's going to take over and uh, take care of the rest of it. I'd like to say to all of you, when I came to Ghana in 2000 for the first time, the particular was the first hotel that I stayed in. The airport was here. And then we traveled around Ghana for over 2,000 miles. Um, I came back in 2004 to live. So I've been here for 14 years. I built a home out in Frankfurt, which is about 30 miles north of the city, uh, on the Atlantic Ocean. And there's quite a few African Americans out there who built homes out there. And it's really growing. Nice area to live in. Um, I don't know if you'll get a chance to come out that way, those who are here on tour or not. But if you do, take that opportunity to come out and just take a look at what's going on out there. Um, there are homes, there are uh, a restaurant, there's a um, library that's being built, there's um, the ancestral walls that um, is excellent. I tell you, you have got to see it. All the African American um, uh, heroes as well as African heroes. And it just blows your mind when you walk out and take a look at that wall. It's an excellent idea. And uh, a beautiful job has been done there. So if you could come out there, please do before you leave to go back. If not, I might see. Um, Right now, I guess I'm just going to turn it over to my partner here and let him talk to you. Because I'm, I'm not feeling that way. But anyway, again, I'm quiet and thank you. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Greetings. And uh, welcome to Ghana. Welcome home. Thank you. I don't know about you. I am really excited that we are here today, not because of our own will, but the will of our ancestors, the creator that created us. I had the opportunity to live in the United States for 20 years before coming home back in June 1997. And it has always been my dream that the time will come that we bridge that gap between the diasporan Africans and the Africans on the continent to build the continent. I think it is about starting. Welcome home. Ghana has been already been told so many, so many words. It's yet contending for the crown of fastest growing country, on the country of Africa. In January of 2018, Ghana's benchmark stock index achieved the world's highest rate of growth, according to the Bloomberg Financial News. I didn't say it. Africa is the last frontier, as it is essential, that we prepare our reception for the world as it brings an expansion of economic and infrastructure development to our country, to our country, Canada. We have untouched resources 
that can be utilized at this time to welcome the influence of commercial and business opportunities. One such resource is called Dudu Island, which is located in the lagoon, the largest lagoon in Ghana, Kita Lagoon in the Volta region. I'm sure you might have heard the region all once more. In the middle of the Kita Lagoon sits Dudu Island. It is untapped, undeveloped voices of viable resources for tourism development. So what I want to spend a few minutes to talk with you this night. Ghana, Africa is full of potential. I came back from the United States uh, due to some ups and downs. I happened to establish the first ever private hospitality institution in the country. And alongside, I have a, a beach resort, which is located at the front row. And I believe if Ghana, Africa, will come out of these economic woes, it is not oil, it is not gold, it is not tea, but rather the tourism industry. That we have so much been endowed with, but we are completely ignorant of. So we come with us. As a child, I grew up around the Kita Lago in the Muta region. Kita is between the Atlantic Ocean and the Lagoon. And since in the Lagoon we have this big island that we call the New Island. Some of us have been there. Been there with some of our brothers and sisters, Brother Jerome and others to look at the place and see how we can do it. In fact, I don't know if I have words to describe that overjoy. I had to beg them before we leave the island, because that's the first time we all were there. So we intend to actually turn that island into a mega recreational facility. That is yet to be seen in Africa, if not the world. Um, today, we are actually not in a position to actually put things on the screen for you to visualize. However, we have actually engaged an architect that has given us a little bit of architectural drawing for how we want that place to look. Um, I have some copies here I will pass around. Look at it. So, we are trying to actually see how we can do this as a bridge. So, we form some kind of uh, association group that we call the Bridge Home Initiative. How do we bridge the gap between us back in the diaspora, particularly in the United States and the Caribbean, and the continent? How do we bridge that gap? How do we come to understand ourselves? How do we come to know each other so that the ignorance that has separated all these things, that the mistrust, how can we put all those things so that we can come together and build our home, Ghana and Africa together? I won't take much of your time, but we have a couple of information that I can share with you people to look at and we need to dialogue more and see what we can do as far as our continent is concerned. Come home, let you go. Very thankful. Yeah, that's what you mean. Very thankful for the opportunities. I've been there, a beautiful place. Love all of God. Um, we're going to bring forth 